Hi, I'm Steve, and today we're gonna make a water cycle in a bag. Now, you're gonna need a few ingredients for this experiment to work. First thing you're gonna need is a roll of tape, a bag, and of course, a marker. The next thing you'll need after that is a small cup of water. Just about an inch of water will do. And last but not least, you'll need food coloring. Now let's get started. It's going to show you in detail how the water cycle works using evaporation, precipitation, and condensation. But first, let's decorate our bags. Take your marker and draw on the bag some nice, big, happy clouds. And don't forget the sun, because just like the clouds, the sun is up in the sky as well. Once you've drawn your sky on your bag, take your water and your food coloring. I'm going to use blue to represent water. And just put a drop of food coloring into the cup. Give it a nice swirl to make sure that the food coloring mixes. And once it's clear and one solid color, you're ready to go. Take your bag, open it, take your cup of colored water, and just go ahead and pour it right into the bag. Be careful not to make a mess. Beautiful. Now once your water is in the bag, Make sure the bag is tightly sealed so that no water can get out. Take the tape, grab a good piece, and put it here on the corners of your bag. Now once you have the tape on your bag, take it over to the window and stick it on the glass. Make sure you find a nice sunny spot to hang your water experiment because that's the trick that's gonna make the experiment work. Now when the sun hits the water inside of the bag, it'll cause the liquid to heat up, which will then turn into a gas and rise up inside of the bag. This process is called evaporation. Now once the water evaporates, it'll try to escape the bag, but it won't be able to go anywhere. So there's nothing else it can do but turn back into a liquid and fall back down to the bottom of the bag. This process is called precipitation. We see this every day. Lakes evaporate into the air and the atmosphere to get clouds. This is also how we get our rain. Once it falls back down, the whole process starts over again. And that is the water cycle. Thanks for watching.